Maps! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Gregory. Um, now I've got your attention with that shout of maps. Welcome to Milan. Um, yeah, give a cheer. Brilliant. Sorry if you had to wait in the queue for registration. It's always a bit busy. It's great to see a, a really full room here, um, which means we're going to be directing people to S02. There's still seats there, and um, I'm being live streamed there. I'm also being live streamed to YouTube. So if you're watching at home, hello YouTube. They don't reply. Hopefully there'll be some tweets that will tell us that it's working and people are watching this. Um, so, welcome. Um, oh. So, we have people from over 56 countries here. OpenStreetMap, massive community. We want to be kind as a community and to make friends, whether they're old friends we're meeting again or new friends. Um, so we have a code of conduct that, that helps define that. Um, if, if you sort of have, think there's a reason that people aren't being welcoming or there's an issue, um, you can talk to me, Gregory, or um, Francesca is our other code of conduct volunteer and, um, and we'll talk that through depending what it is and help you out. The code of conduct is on our website and on page five of your booklet so um, everyone present whether you're a sponsor, a delegate, a speaker, um, your first time here or your tenth time here then um, you should follow the code of conduct. So I'm going to talk, there's a lot of information, it's a very packed weekend. Um, hopefully on your registration you all got a nice bag. In that bag is a booklet like this. Um, I'm already using it to refer. This is very helpful, as is the Android app that's been made for us. Um, and however, we send this to the printers and then we realise there's some mistakes. One of the big mistakes is... Sometimes it says the second track is in S03. It actually means S02, um, which I'll explain where that is in a moment. Um, and if you're unsure what is the correct times or the correct session, the website, which is at the bottom there, 2018.stateofthemap.org, that is the truth. That is the most up-to-date thing. Um, other than ground truth, if you're in a session, the speaker that's there is probably the one that's going to speak. Um, but, you know, we, we like to know what's true. Um, and, of course, you can see me in this beautiful red shirt, and there's other people around the room. They are here to help you. So, if you have any questions, um, ask them, say hi. If you just want someone to say hi to, say hi to them. If they don't know the answer or they're too busy, they'll be able to point you to someone who does know the answer and can help you out. Um, this is probably an important slide as well to connect to the Wi-Fi. I can see you all getting your phones out. You know, you got a tweet about how awesome the maps are um, and, and the exciting things you learn here. So you connect. The Wi-Fi network is Polymy. Um, Accessor, you then go to a web page and click Accessor Wi-Fi Ospiti. My Italian's not great, but I'm told that's the guest Wi-Fi. Sorry if I pronounce any Italian wrong. Um, and then type in that username and password. I think that's stuck up near the door, and it's also on the welcome desk as well. Um, I see you all typing. We're a bit tight on time, but I don't want to leave you without a connection. Quick, 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 take a photo, and then you can type it in later. Okay, um, I want to thank all our sponsors. You can see them up there, you can see them here. Some of them have little stalls around, um, so go and talk to them. They really help make State of the Map happen by supporting it um, and paying for the things that need to be paid. We've got a lot of volunteer help, but we couldn't have done it with these sponsors. I want to particularly thank our, our main sponsors that have come back to support us again. 
Facebook, Microsoft Bing, and Mapbox. Um, they all have had a talk accepted to the program as well, so I think they're going to be speaking on some interesting things and what each of them are, are doing and involved in in the OpenStreetMap world, so that's a good place. Um, you probably all heard of those companies, but let's hear what they have to say to us as well. And, oh, it's a bit slow. Um, also in your bag, you all have found these uh, five stickers. Oh, I've used one already. There is a poster competition. I'm about to tell you where it is. You use your blue stickers to vote. So go up, look at the posters, and they'll have a little white sign with, with their name on. Just stick, you can use one sticker for each poster. You know, you can't vote twice for the same poster. Put a sticker and it's just a bit of fun. We'll count out and announce the winner so they can celebrate that and say they're the best poster of State of the Map. Um, in addition to the competition, there's also some academic posters um, from people who couldn't make it. They won't have space to vote, but you can enjoy the poster. Um, so you want to know where that is. This is the, the floor plan. Um, the green arrow is where you came in today. Um, Di Donato is where we are. And you can see the red tables are where our sponsor stalls are. So as I said, go and talk to them. If you then walk around this corner, I've not uh, shown it very well, but if you walk around the co corner kind of that way from the room, there's some signs and a uh, little walkway, and that will take you to the poster competition. Um, if you don't go down there and you continue down the corridor past our, the food that we'll be having at break time, um, in the corner, the orange tables are where our local chapters will be. So you can go and, you know, there's, um, I think, six local chapters of the foundation. Great to know about OpenStreetMap around the... Uh, around the world and, and what they're doing. Um, and then there's a few more sponsors that you can talk to before going into S02, um, which is our second track. And, and that's the one that sometimes on the program it says S03. Um, the stairs are in each corner, but perhaps the easiest is to go up the stairs by the, by the local chapters. And you've got S1.3, S1.4, 1.5 and 1.6, and there'll be some talks and things in there and spaces. As I said, it's an action-packed program. Lots of varied talks. We've got workshops that are more interactive. Um, there's new this year is the academic track that Marco is leading for us. So this is researchers. Um, they've kind of been selected with a more rigorous scientific committee. Um, but you don't have to be an academic, everyone's welcome to go. And, and that's on Sunday, it's a full track, an extra column in your programme that we've had to squeeze into the booklet. Um, there's some extra sessions, so we have lightning talks, which are five minute kind of really snappy to the point talks. We still have some spaces to sign up to that. Maybe you didn't make the... Uh, kind of submissions for, for talks, but you've, you've done something since that you want to talk about. Um, over by the welcome desk, there's a poster. You can just write your name up, and, and then that slot is yours. Um, we also have this idea of bookable spaces, which some people call birds of a feather. And the idea is OpenStreetMap. There's lots of little communities. Um, and, you know, there's the... I always struggle, there's so many to think, there's like the transport community, there's the maybe diversity community, there's people working in America that maybe want to meet up, people that go to map time meetups. So if you want to find people like you, part of your subgroup, maybe there's something you need to discuss in that, um, you can go to the bookable spaces poster and sign up there, just write your subject in one of the time slots and you've got four to five minutes to meet and chat and introduce. Very informal and very fun. Um, so if you sign up there, that's in one room. I can't remember. It's 1.6 is the bookable space. And if, if you just, maybe you haven't booked somewhere, but you start chatting, you want somewhere a bit quieter to go in a room, 
There's, I mean, there's a few spaces around, but you can also go to S1.4 upstairs, and that room's always available for anyone to walk in and, and have a conversation. Um, so please do sign up. I think that's the best part of the conference in some ways, because you had to be there to join those, um, and, and you don't know what you've got until people sign up for them. Um, we didn't quite have this ready for the, to put in the program, but tonight um, at 19.30, 7.30 p.m., um, we have a social event with food and drinks in a place called Old Fashioned Milano. Um, so if you turn to page 34 in your booklet, I think that shows the metro map or maybe the detailed map, and you might want to join on. From here, you can go to the Paola station, get the Green Line M2, and down to Cadorna. Um, we'll tweet this and, and put information online. Um, and then where that F is, is old-fashioned um, Milano. There's a big red building and a big tower. Just walk towards that, look for the, the mappers, look for people with GPS devices. That's how I keep finding people. Um, as I've said, join the conversation, tweet. We've also got a Telegram network, if that's your thing. Tweet uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've rushed through a lot of help, but, uh, a lot of information. So I'm just going to recap. You've got the website. If you need help, the people in the red T-shirts are here for you, to help you, to answer your questions, to point you to, to the different rooms. Um, and that's my welcome. Thank you, and welcome to Milan.